Thank you for watching I'm Jam TV. I want to uh, follow, I'm not really follow up because this is the first time that I saw this. I was searching, I always go to YouTube sometime and, th and, and this uh, person I think named General Longsight um, and they were talking about this Richard Stephen that um, that uh, molested or raped her or something and um, it, it, it's a big thing because everybody have a different take on it and and, and what happened and uh, but you know something we as women got to be careful and men has to be careful too because maybe woman does that to men I haven't heard a lot of it but it does happen um, but we as women have to be careful Okay, be careful what we do and where we go. You see, uh, and, and I'm going to say this about Jamaican men because I know Jamaican men. Jamaican men, as long as you have a lighter shade of skin, Jamaican man will follow you around the world. And you look, as long as you have a lighter shade of skin, you look so beautiful to them. They want to get in your pants. I know Jamaica man, that's all they are. You see. And when I hear this woman talk, I wasn't there, and I'm not gonna say it is the truth, but I have to see take her words for it. You see. And if that young man did that kind of thing, it, it, it is wrong. It is wrong. When a woman say no or a man says no, they mean no. Because sometimes the man not into you and you are into the man. You see. When a woman says no and a man says no, it, it's no. But people don't, people don't, 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 don't uh, you know, take no for an answer. And I, I, I was watching the, the section where the guy come up and said, oh, some of the thing is truth and some is not true. Some of the things, what is truth? Talk the truth. Which part of it is truth? The part that you said what? The part that she said what? Some of the things are truth. Some of it are not truth. So why didn't you say the part that is truth? I am a victim of rape. I didn't do anything. I was going to work every morning. And I passed this man. I didn't even pay the man any attention. I just passed every month. Didn't even notice the man. I just go. I was, I, I think, maybe two or three years after I came here, run to catch my bus to go uh, to work. And so, the man sit there watch me every day. I come home from work. He said he was watching me come home from work same way. One day I came home from work, put my key in my door. Man was in my house, break through the window, and come in with a knife ready to kill me and he almost killed me not with the knife but he raped me and he hold me under my my throat and he squeezed my throat and every time I remember it I feel bad tears come to my eyes and I said, you're going to kill me, leave my two children. My lips were just moving because I couldn't uh, hear nothing was coming uh, from my mouth. And gas and everything was coming from down below. And then he eased off me. And I said, and my throat is so dry. Can I make a cup of tea? So I went in the kitchen. And I put a pot on the fire. I put the pot this big. And he was waiting in the bedroom. And he keeps saying, how long are you taking? Oh, what do you, you know, why you get, why, why, so he came out and look. And he said, what are you doing with that big pot of tea? I said, I need a lot of tea. And the pot start boiling up. And I rushed him with the pot. And he jumped because he had called the police and tell the police that he going to kill a MF now. And the police, because he called from my home phone, and the police traced it to my apartment. 
But it didn't say which apartment I was in. The police was in the yard, walking up and down and looking up and down. And when I rushed him with the pot of hot water, he jumped through the, didn't open the window. He take the whole window with him. And he jumped right in the arms of the police. But they arrest him. Later on to find out he was a schizophrenic. So they have to take him to hospital. So people don't understand. People don't understand. Women go through a lot of things. A lot of things in order to stand up. One woman man said to me, boy, you, you act like a man. You know, life does this to you. Because after you have done it all, after you've been through it all, you have to stand up for yourself. I have been through it all. I have been there, done that. I came here, I was living with a lady, a young girl like me, because when I came, I was 28. And the lady said I could come and stay with her after I, I, my, the job I, I le went to wasn't, didn't spend out. The lady have a father. She said it was her father. So I was sleeping in the couch. And she went to her room, and father went to his room. In the middle of the night, the other man come naked as a jaybird, stand over me to sleep with me. And I said, I'm a daughter, I'm a daughter of your, I'm a friend of your daughter. And because I didn't comply, almost two o'clock in the morning, he said, come out. I have to take up my two little bag. And sit on the, uh, 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 on the, on the, I couldn't, on, 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 on the sidewalk actually. Because I have to sit on the side of the house. Couldn't sit on his veranda that he's paying for. He said to leave. And I have to sit down until daylight. I call a friend of mine to go to stay at her house. People don't know what you've been through. When you've been there, done that. People don't know what you go through. I know this lady may have said, you, you know what I mean, or I don't know, she may have make you feel like she, you, you, she want you. But it's not everybody. It's not everybody wants that. Some people just want to work and go home. But no. But every time a man look at a woman, boom, I got to have her. It doesn't work like that. You'll go to jail. You'll go to prison. For what? And a lot of time, the same man have their wife at home. So why do you have your wife at home and you want to go and mess with somebody else? Why? Why? <gasps> You have your wife, you have your children, beautiful children, beautiful wife, at home sitting down. And there, you're fooling around. I was watching something again on YouTube, and, um, and, and the girl said, oh, she have HIV, and she's sleeping with as much man, especially married man, as she can, because she want them to have it, because somebody giving it, give it to her. And what? You sleep with her and you take it home. Poor woman at home, you give the woman. I met a woman here in, in, in Florida. I met her. I take my car to uh, the shop to service. And the, I had, you know, you're going to take time. So I said, all right, let me take the bus and go to the mall. I cross the street and take the bus to go to the mall uh, to just look around before my car finished. And, I, and she was standing at the bus stop. She go, are you Jamaican? I said, yes. I have Jamaican men. And I have HIV and I give it to them. And those in back in, 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 the, in the 80s and 90s, people were dropping like fly with HIV. And I said, what? She said, yes. Because if they feel like they should cheat on their wife or woman, I give it to them. Because somebody give it to me. And I said, that's not right. 
Not because somebody give it to you, you're going to kill somebody just innocently. And she said, yes. I have more people to give it to. And she was giving it to everybody she feel like and everybody she meet. She was giving it to them. You see. So you don't know what you're going to take home. You don't know who have what. You don't know who have what. So be careful. You want to see your children and your wife grow up. You know, your children grow up. You don't want to kill your wife. You don't want to kill anybody. You don't want to kill yourself. Because your, your wife going to die or your girlfriend and you going to die. And then the poor children going to be up and down. You know how it is to have children without parents? Do you know how it is to have children without a parent? Just think on those things. Think about leaving your child or your children. Mother died or father died. And that child. I watched that African movie and a lot of times it may look like it's a movie. But a lot of times things go like that. You know how bad people treat your children when you are not home or when you are not there? People treat your children very bad. My mother used to say, back a dog a dog and before dog a miss a dog. While you're there, they treat them, oh yeah, your father was good. You turn your back. Don't eat this. Go wash this. Don't do this. Clean up. You're not going to school. Well, go, well, go to the field. Go straight the yard. That's what they do to your children. So you got to protect your children. If it's one thing I did, I protect my children. Because I don't want that. I never go and, and live into some place that people going to break in and, 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 and rape my children. And I always have a house, rent a house, I buy a house so my children can be in it. And I always do things. So I know that. My children won't be in jeopardy. Don't. Don't let SEX. Let you do and, 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 and do these things. And kill yourself and kill your wife and kill your children. Because once you're dead and, and you dead and your mother died. Might as well you kill the children because they're going to be suffering. You may have some good people that takes them, but a lot of time they are suffering. Please. So don't try to, uh, you know, don't try to uh, try to get every woman you can. It, it doesn't worth it. A woman is a woman. You can't finish a woman. A woman is a woman. She will always be a woman. You may not be a man. Because certain time you're not you 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 you're done. But you can't kill a woman. And if you have a woman at home, a good woman, keep her, keep her, and don't kill her. Thank you again for watching. I'm Jam TV. I'm out of here.